here we go, boys and girls. I am trusting my machine. Got my curtains all up. We're gonna see what happens. And this coolant is on. Here we go. I hope we don't kill a bit. Oh well, <laughs> that worked pretty awesome. This is my first hands-off uh, operation. Wow. What I'm doing is machining a new bracket to hold my um, to hold my new servo. because the one that I had worked on and built before I misjudged the, uh, the holes that it's doing right now, those larger holes, I misjudged and, you know, I was only going off of the actual piece. Couldn't really measure it accurately, but I've moved those holes in another 25,000. 25,000s in, so I couldn't get the fourth bolt in on the old one. I still had enough material that I could do one more, so I thought, well, I'll try it. Got my curtains all up. So now I can make chips. All right. That little squawk you just heard was my uh, Z 
a little bit undersized. So I'm hoping that it'll be okay. Now I do have tabs that are being produced at the bottom of this. The bottom of this hole should make tabs so that middle piece shouldn't come flying out of there. There's Z just slowly advancing. So this is my first full part that I'm allowing it to produce all by itself. I'm sitting here with my finger on the kill switch in case of a problem, but uh, I'm a little nervous, you know, if I screwed up the G code or anything. But so far it's doing well. I'm going to pause it here so you don't have to watch this forever. I came over to check my, uh, my RMS is up at 91. Oh man, I don't know if it's going to make it through. I might have to pause the machine here after, after this operation. If it creeps up any more, whoops, sorry about that. 92. I think it'll finish this. Oh, damn it. Sorry about my finger. I think it'll finish this hole. Yeah, we're holding at 91, 92. 91 Should be down at the bottom very soon Hey, hon, come here. Did you hear me hollering? Come here, quick. Oh, yeah, we're dropped down to 90. I am going to need to pause it after this to give my little motor a rest. But look, it's machined that whole piece out by itself. It did the holes, it did, the, it did everything. Yeah. Well, you can film. Because I'm trying to keep my finger on the kill switch in case there's a problem and film. You want to film? Yeah, we're down to 89 RMS. Now it's doing the tabs. The Z, see how it's backing off the Z? It, watch, it'll go down in a second. Right there. It backed it off to allow the tab. The tab is what holds that middle puck from kind of flying out of there. I'm gonna have to give the machine a bit of a rest because I'm afraid that well I guess it'll be okay even if it stops it shouldn't damage the part because it'll be on the outside if it errors out 
see how it goes up to do the tabs. There was another tab it just did. Give it a moment, because it's about to finish with this procedure. And it'll pull it, it's gonna pull out of the hole and then uh, it'll move to the outside, the very last operation. Yeah, no one was here, I was yelling for you guys. <laughs> I was like. Oh man. Sorry. I have something wrong in the G-code. <laughs> okay, I guess it's going to the outside. All right, um, that was, it withdrew, but I apparently did something wrong. Locking it back down. So I must have messed something up in the G-code when it when it went to pull out. It curved in to where the material was still at, and uh, obviously that material's still there. That's why I wanted my finger on the kill switch. All right, let's let it continue. You can uh, pause it here. I have to keep pausing it, letting the motor kind of settle down a little bit, and then resuming. But I knew this was going to be a problem this long, slow climb on the outside of this piece. Just very slowly winding its way through. If I let it get to 100% and throw an error, I don't believe I'd be able to resume, so I have to be careful not to let it do that. I need to look to see in Linux CNC how I can... Yeah, there it's 91, 92. We are very close to the end on this. I had to stop it a few times because, um, well, not stop it, just pause it because the RMS was getting too high and it was going to fault out. And if it, if I actually let it fault out, then uh, I don't believe I'd have been able to resume the program. I would have had to leave it right where it was. I may have been able to tell it to pick up from that particular line. I've never tried that before, but we're almost done. I'm probably not going to film the very end because I'm worried I have the same error in my G-code as I did on the inner circle where... Um, where it's going to try and curl into the part. Well, it'll happen so fast I won't be able to stop it, so... I guess there's not much I can do about it, because I won't know when it's going to happen. 
but it should be done here any moment. Yeah, I... Yep, it's on its final pass right now. It looks like it's removing material from the inner circle on its finished pass here. I had it do that in a second operation, so it, it milled down and then moved in 20,000 or I'm sorry, yeah, 20,000 for a finish pass. So I think it's on its finish pass right now, going around and just finishing off, nicking away 20,000. Sorry for the long video, but I wanted to get all of the important parts. Oop, there it goes. Yep. Oh, well, not too bad. And that's it. Done. Huh. Awesome. Okay, I just put my... There it is, people. It's got tabs every so often to keep the part in. Seems to have worked well for my first, very, very first part, totally automated, complete part. Tell you what, that's not bad. I had to stop it a few times or pause it a few times because of the motor RMS. My servo motor should be here in about a week, my newer, larger one. And this plate will work for the motor I have now and the new one. So I'm actually gonna tap those larger outer holes and fit this one up now. Mm, I don't know, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave the one in there that's in there instead of taking it off and doing all that twice. But this one will be ready. For the new motor when it gets here so it'll allow me to get the see that bolt I can't get it down in because the holes I missed by about 25 thousandth and when you accumulate all four bolts then by the time I got to the fourth one I couldn't put it down into the taps it wasn't quite aligned so I moved these 25 thousandth we'll see how it is all right, everyone. Thanks for hanging with me. Peace out.